In today's ATEM Quick Tip, we're going to talk about the multi-view and how you can customize it. I'm using the Blackmagic ATEM Mini Extreme ISO, but you'll find these settings in the same place within the software control. Start in the bottom left corner of the software control with your ATEM plugged in and turned on. Click the settings gear icon and you'll see a tab titled multi-view. From here, you have a view control in the top left, which allows you to adjust the view by clicking on one of the four quadrants. This toggles between one big box or four smaller boxes. Once you have your desired option, below you'll find drop-down menus to select the input that you'd like within each box of the multi-view. Here you can change between cameras one through eight, your media players, and more. You'll also be able to display the super source recording status, streaming status, and audio status. If you'd like to be able to see the audio levels of an individual input, click the audio level meter icon like so. The bigger windows don't allow for the same options as the smaller windows, so make sure to keep a few smaller windows open for things like the recording or streaming status. If you'd like to rename your cameras, head over to the Labels tab at the top and you can rename your inputs, outputs, or media as you see them on the multi-viewer. This is a great way to label your wide shots, close-ups, or even set it to the name of your camera operator if you have a team running the cameras. When you're done, hit Save and check your multi-viewer screen to see the changes. That's all for this ATEM Quick Tip. See you next time.